Park Stage. Coming from 105.7 Miramatic 365 backstage, you're your host, ENC. This week, I have been kind of gender biased. I'm, I'm dealing with females. Females who are doing their quota, their part in this music industry scene, how you call it, the Gambia. Today, we're having Sophia. She's just been awarded the best upcoming female artist of the year, the last awards that you, you, you all heard about. We're going to talk to Sophia about a lot of things, her career and all that. But welcome, Madam Shakehan. Thank you. Yes. Um, uh, how you been? I'm okay. Great? Yep. You, how, how do you feel you've been awarded um, uh, the, the best upcoming female artist of the year, 2014? <laughs> it feels good. It feels hard work been paid off. Really? Yeah. Um, uh, you, you came in, we thought you were a hip-hop artist. <laughs> okay? The first day I listened to Sophia... It was like a rapper, but rapping on a, on a dancehall beat. Right. It seems like you were much more hip-hop oriented doing dancehall. Tell us about it. Um, when I started music at first, I, I was a singer. I started with church music. Okay. And then I met the Block Studio, and y'all know the Block is actually a hip-hop oriented studio okay so they had to get me into this you know hip-hop thingy and then they played a dance out bit and I, I and i spit in it and the promoter was like hell no she's not a hip-hop artist okay. she's a dance hall artist so that's yes. how it came up yes but were you were you comfortable with the hip-hop are you are you good now that you're not doing hip-hop or you still got some hip-hop things coming up uh no i'm not planning any hip-hop for now i'm, I'm strictly dance hall or reggae Dance or reggae. Yep. That sounds great. Let's go back to the award. Um, I just have to put you on this reality check. Um, okay. Um, do you think um, you really deserve the award? Yeah, of course I do. Tell us why. Because I've worked hard for the music industry, you know. Mm -hmm. I've been there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've not, maybe because I've not been on so many shows, but I've been there doing songs, and I know my performances are unique. Mm -hmm. I know people would not just vote for me, because even for the voting, I didn't even know my voting number. I, I knew it two days before the, the award. The award okay. So it means people actually know I deserved it, so they voted for me. So I think it's just, it's just real. I like the point. <laughs> After the award, because um, this is Gambia, you know, sometimes people are not really up to the time with the artist actually right. but when something pop up they certainly follow after that yeah. i realize yeah okay yeah she's what are you up to after the award after receiving the award after receiving the, receiving the award i'm working on new singles and i just did a new video that's coming up by the end of this week okay mm -hmm. what's the song it's called party missy party missy <laughs> okay I, I heard the slice of that song right. mm, dope and uh you got a collab with Royal Messenger, and it's a big song. Right. How did that collab came up? Uh, Royal Messenger is actually my musical mentor, one of my mentors. He, I, I known him years ago, so he was like, oh, I have a dancehall song we have to do. It was during the Ramadan. Okay. I was even having cold. I was, I was cold, <laughs> you know? So he was like, okay, we met at Wagan Studio. I was like, let's go and do the song. We went to the studio and it takes less than two hours and we did the song. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's great. Song called Spider. I think the video is out too. Yeah. Sophia in the building on backstage show, your host, ENC. Mm -hmm. What do you think um, has been an obstacle or still an obstacle of the feminine side of dancehall music in the Gambia? You guys um, are making a late entry now. Um, of, let me say the past four years, mm -hmm. past four or three years mm -hmm. to, to the present. What was happening to dancehall with females from your own point of view? Um, I think the entire music industry in Gambia are just concentrated on the guys and especially the famous ones. People don't have time to look, you know, look out for the coming up artists them because in Gambia, I think if you don't work hard and have a name, you're nobody. Nobody gives a damn, you know? So I actually had to struggle hard to get the attention I have right now. So as a female, it's not easy. You have to work really hard for it. Have you have you ever looked up to any female personal in the Gambian music scene before? 
Um, Mostly girls would be like, I look at, I, I used to look up to him. You know what I mean? Right. Guys, <laughs> they hardly look up to their fellow females. I'm putting you on this part oh now. Did you ever have that? I love, I love Diha. Okay. Yeah. She actually won Artist of the Year. Yeah, I love her. Okay. <laughs> Diha is great. Yeah. Diha, I think I, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Tell us something about production side of your music, the materials. Where can people reach them? Because um, presenters will be like, girls don't reach at us. We, they har- hardly get your products. Like, not only Sophia, but the females. Okay. Presenters hardly get their products. They hardly go to shows because um, uh, I've been listening to a couple of Black Link shows. For example, Wag I've been saying, um, girls hardly reach out to them. For example, when you say the, the monthly open mics and all that, you hardly see females grinding. You understand? Um, like boys will be doing. Like, every show you see boys like, yeah, I'm going to perform on this show. They go freestyle. Right. I was at the feeler. At the East Park here, yeah, last week, right. a few days back, right? And uh, I haven't seen any female artists performing on, on the freestyle segment. <laughs> okay, not only Sophia, but um, uh, what do you think is the problem with girls on that side, reaching out? Uh, I think most girls are not, not really, uh, how do I say, they're not sure of themselves. Okay. You know, and sometimes the shows start really late. Like me, I'm female. My mom doesn't allow me to leave the house at 2 2 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Most of the shows start at 2 a.m. when I'm supposed to be home at 2 a.m., you know, that kind of stuff. So I think most of them females, they are not encouraged because if y'all up there and you say, we want a female on stage, I'm not, I, know, I know one of them will just pop up and go there, but I don't think the attention is given to them. But I think lately it's getting better. And I, I'm, yes. sure, I'm sure the females are going to come up. Do you do anything apart, apart from music? Yeah, I'm a teacher. <laughs> what do you teach? I teach all subjects except French. Okay. Um, <laughs> which level? Which level of school do you teach? Uh, primary, junior, primary, high? Three, primary, primary, three, four, five, six. Okay. How how does that go with your music career? Like, do you ever have this um where you're gonna bump at your students say? Mrs. Sophia, I uh, saw so you performing with some ties and some some crop tops and some fell hats and all that. Most of my students know I sing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the teachers also and a couple of the parents. them. But I don't think singing is bad or performing on stage can stop you from teaching anybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but, but does the teaching side of you... Um, uh, had contribute anything good to your career as an as a musician? Does of it course, help anyway? It, it does. It does really. Because then I'll be concentrated on the kids. You know, when you're working with children, the couple of things you see, you know. I'm gonna say, I don't be that. Mm-hmm. You know, a couple of things in life. You know how to be humble. You know mm-hmm. how to be patient with a couple of things. You know how to meditate, and you know how to get good lyrics. That's great. Which are the shows you think we're gonna be seeing you on? Um, because mm. you must be up to something. You, you're recording, the, lately right. you're recording mm-hmm. so much songs, right. you know what right. I mean? And uh, the delivery is there on the lyrics. Right. Where, 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 where can people reach you when it comes to the shows and somebody will say, okay, tonight I'm going to watch Sophia on the show? Uh, hopefully on the Wasahalat, because I, I, uh, Sister Jai spoke with me already. Mm. I think that's the first coming up show. And I'm sure after the Ramadan, there's going to be a lot more. Mm, and about stage and all that? Yeah, stage performances, everything. I'm going to be keeping the fans updated through my Facebook, through DJs. I'm going to be reaching out to DJs right now, you know. Give us um, some of your um, uh, social media connections. And I know a lot of people are listening going to start following your SoundCloud if you have, Facebook, Twitter, any medium that you use to promote your music. I, I use my Facebook mostly to do what I have to do. And on my WhatsApp, it's mostly people that I know mm-hmm. on my WhatsApp that I send my music to. And I have my promoter, you know, and a couple of my fan base that, that send out my music. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying anybody that wants to get out to me, just to reach me on Sophia Bias on Facebook. Okay. Mm-hmm. What do you think, if available for you right now as an artist, will take you international level in your career? That this and this is available for me. This is what you really want in your career right now. Um, a good recording in a lot of cash. <laughs> <laughs> like if you someone to come and say, okay, Sophia, ten thousand dollars recording, clothing, makeups, like that. Uh, if I have a good recording, 
I got my proper setup, um, as in my manager, my promoter, okay. you know, and a lot of money. I'm sure I'm going to make it international because I will work so hard with that money that I'll make sure I get there. Them two were savage. Then we're all going to be rocking it. <laughs> <laughs> if you have never seen Sophia on the stage and you might not have listened to her song before, look into the camera and give us a hot freestyle acapella. Oh One of your songs or anything new coming up or anyhow, just give us, just... Hit your fans up there. Step on the dance floor, start up commotion. Me a bad girl need a motivation. Mash up the place like a fish in the ocean. You and I together better than a love potion. Boy be tears so man digger like a pension. Rude boy, me want give you detention. The way you hold me. Oh boy, me want give you a love salutation. Ah, okay. Is that the... Uh, party the missing. party missing. That's the video coming up. <laughs> right. Look out for that song. And this is Sophia on the backstage show. As you keep succeeding, we're going to have another part of this interview on Paradise FM. Right. Keep following and watching our videos on the YouTube, Mediamatic 365. I'm your host, ENC. Join us in the next segment. Another interesting topic coming. I need to have Afro Dizzy, Mariam Kasama on this show. Females are holding it re uh, all these times and right. look out for them coming soon. <laughs> Something final for the fans? Uh, I'm going to tell the fans I love them all and they're going to be expecting really big stuff from me. I'm not going to be posing. I'm not going to be sitting in what them ENC and others are doing. <laughs> it's your time. <laughs> yeah, it's Thank my you. time. The end of the year, I really want to make it big. So I'm going to work real hard. Give shouts to somebody special out there. Uh, shout out to you, Fish Pie. <laughs> <laughs> we out of here, man. Shout out to Mustik. Yeah, oh, Mustik, my baby. He's mm. my promoter. Okay. Shout out to you. He's been really supportive, really. Great, great, great. We out of here, man. Bye. Absolutely number one. Oh, yeah. 105.7. We are the first and only nationwide FM radio. Oh my God. The station that rocks the nation. Paradise FM. I don't understand how you're number one.